Hello, Virgo. Welcome. I'm Ryan. And thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you to be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. We probably do 3D tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um Okay, okay. Right away, Virgo jumping into this. What they do show me, the overall situation and circumstances, whether it's something between the two of you or whether it's their own focus, I don't know yet. They're showing me, though, that as they've been taken back by the situation, they're, they're definitely trying to look at things differently. I feel like there is the gaining of actual perspective here because they do have possibly some sort of idea or maybe some sort of consideration of communication between the two of you. I kind of feel like whatever this is, they're just more so holding on to it. They're internalizing quite a bit right here. Um, whatever has taken place, they're saying something definitely feels like it's a huge letdown. It's a huge upset. It's a huge disturbance to the circumstances. They're not too sure exactly what else they can kind of do about it or what else they can kind of say about it. The only thing they're kind of saying and coming to the conclusion of is... It's just possibly best to kind of walk away from this, put this behind them um, and accept what is. And ultimately with this energy of acceptance and kind of surrendering to the circumstances, they are gaining some sort of clarity and some sort of perspective. They are, they are kind of saying that, you know, it is what it is. Something has taken place. Um, it's taken care of. It's kind of cleared up in a sense. It's a whole lot of internal, like internal perspective. And I mean a lot. Interesting. Oh, goodness gracious. What is that about? Um, <laughs> Ooh, what is that about? They're like, nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm like, oh my goodness. Here we go, Virgo. Here we go. Um, that being said, something definitely unfortunate has taken place. What's interesting about this, Virgo, is they're ultimately kind of saying, unfortunate, yes, moving forward with it, accepting it. Also, yes, um, somehow out of all of this, something financially speaking has worked out in their favor. And I don't understand, I'm not quite understanding, you know, the, the dynamic of the situation here, but... They're saying like, well, I'm actually quite indifferent now. Um, now that I understand how this is all clearly working out and playing out, I'm actually not that bothered. Something financially is working out for me and that's actually changing my whole mood and my set and my tone around differently. They're showing me this energy of a huge kind of confidence, but it's more so of a huge ego boost. I don't know what that's about. It's a huge ego boost and they are, how do I say this? Um... I'm not going to say it that way. I kind of wanted to at the same time I don't want to. Um, there's something possibly regarding addictions here that they're having to really get control over as well as discipline themselves about. There's something regarding fixation, obsession, that it's like um, you need to get your mind right. You need to clear your thoughts. You need to work on oneself. Um, I don't know what that's about. I don't. Whether it's an addiction to money, whether it's addiction to success. Um, I 
but there's definitely something here regarding self-control that they are having to kind of get containment over or of that they're kind of like saying i feel like this is an addiction i really do but ultimately what's nice about this is they do show up with a clear mind they, they do they do show up with a clear mind and they're kind of like saying yeah it's over with it's run its course time to kind of more so focus on rest and recovery myself Hold that thought, Virgo. One moment. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's control of oneself. I just wanted to clarify that for a split second. Because um, even after this is done with and it's closed up, there was kind of like a little bit, it's interesting, they show me this indifferent energy, but then they're kind of like, there was a, there was a slight tad bit of resentment or grudge or irritation. Um, but they, they do very quickly work past that. And they're kind of like, yeah, whatever, I'll let it go. Um, even though they are getting their mind right and taking some time to themselves, what's interesting about this is... Huh, they're moving forward. They're kind of like, well, what's done is done. What's said is said. What's what's happened is happened. Um, I'm doing pretty good with what I got going on for myself. And I'm focused on my next thing. But I'm just kind of seeing how things progress and move forward here. As things are progressing and moving forward regarding their accomplishments or possibly their business, I, I do see that there is a family situation here. Parents and kids and children. Yeah, right there. Mm. Interesting. It's almost like they're supposed to back away from something. They're trying to put something together for themselves, and I don't know what that's about. But it also kind of seems like it feels like it could be about the two of you somehow. Because they're not showing me necessarily like a direct um, dynamic, unless the, there's a friend group or friend circle here. That is a possibility. If that's the case, though, let's see. If that's the case... This is like a business group. This is like a, you guys are friends, um, but it's also about a little bit of money and business. They're showing me, mm, things are going well for me. Something has worked out financially, but let's kind of get everyone together. Let's kind of throw some sort of event, some sort of party, some sort of gathering. And what's interesting about this is even though they're wanting to create this social setting or social scene with you and them and everyone, um, let's bring everyone together. They, it's interesting because they're showing me there's a party going on, uh, but I'm not actually truly 100% happy with it. It's kind of like, well, there's a party going on. They're, they're, they're not even, it's an energy of like, indifferent. It's just like, meh. they're neutral and unbothered by it. They're not really enjoying themselves, but they're not really miserable either. Their mindset is more so focused on some sort of financial project or endeavor. That's where their emotional energy is placed or prioritized. Um, whatever this is, and this is kind of like, um, yeah, it's networking. This is networking. Whatever this is that they're working on next, they absolutely love it. And they're figuring out, like, it's interesting, but they're making the decision, but for some reason they're kind of like, I love it, okay, but do I still love it? I got a pretty good understanding of who this is. Um, They're just trying to figure out how to utilize it and work with it. Once again, it's an energy of um, overall bigger picture, bigger plan. Not too sure. When it comes to the smaller details about this, a little bit more confident with how they want to work with it. At the same time, they're still kind of waiting on something here. I'm like, okay, well, what's next then? There it is. There it is. And there it goes. 
I like that. Gone with the wind. Um, <laughs> interesting. They're, I don't understand that. It's like, um, they absolutely love wanting to start this new beginning, wanting to start this new journey. They show me that. And then very quickly, like I said, it just switches so very quickly. Well, let me actually kind of see where I'm at emotionally speaking as to how things are progressing moving forward. Are things on track? I think they are. Um, regarding plans for future on down the line. They're, they're, it's like they're waiting for their next financial opportunity. That opportunity presents itself. And they're just like, yeah, whatever. I just don't care anymore. And it's like, this is someone who's like, I love it. I don't actually love it. But yet, let me go back here. But yet they are fixated and obsessed about their business and their image. Interesting. That sounds like, what's that called? Like a, um, huh. Don't know. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Virgo, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a water sign, an air sign, or a fire sign. Bye.